So yesterday, a Ray Lowe went off on Mark Hamill. I'm not even sure Ray Lowe's are even human, or at least part of the human race. They're not the same species as we are. They can't be. They need to be studied. I'm serious. More up and So here's Fair, the racist, uh, angry cat lady who attacked uh, Mark Hamill. Here's her next tweet that I found that was uh, just basically making racist statements. She also got nailed by somebody for saying what she said. Her friend Christine Kylo Slow attacking white men and uh, white women. And then, of course, here's, here's this fat chick di uh, diminishing Carrie Fisher by using her uh, picture. And here's the tweet she put on here, basically stating that Mark Hamill doesn't understand Luke Skywalker, which is utter bullshit. Hey guys, it's Steph. Welcome back to the Cantina. Please feel free to subscribe if you haven't. Please hit the bell so you know when I upload more content. Please hit the like button. Uh, remember, uh, share, uh, share away here. We share away here full of Star Wars. Uh, yesterday, Mark Hamill was abused by a Ray Lowe called Fair, F-E-R. Uh, her Twitter account is F-E-R at Ray, lowercase x, Kylo. And uh, I'm going to make her and a couple of her friends famous. So be ready. After studying these people for the last, what, month, doing uh, several expose videos and literally uh, twirling me off into a, a, a wild Viking berserker rage that I've never, ever been in before in my life, uh, I got to say, these people are sick. They're, uh, I've caught them, you know, posting racist stuff about uh, John Boyega. If you haven't seen the Raylo rape uh, porn video I did, I sent it to Mark Hamill, I sent it to Disney, I sent it to Lucasfilm because it was so disturbing, I can't. I mean, in this day and age, we've got 300 pound fat blue haired cat ladies and semi-retarded, indoctrinated, mouth-breathing millennial uh, bitches uh, uh, posting rape porn. Uh, Kyle Ron raping Ray. Okay, uh, there's, I mean, their, their idea of romance is a girl in a chair, naked, strapped with her, her, her wrists bound by, bound by handcuffs, her ankles bound to the upper arms of the chair, her legs spread with the fully clothed Kyle Ron standing in front of her. You know, and J.J. Abrams at the time of uh, TFA called it what he was doing to her when she was actually being interrogated, violent mind rape. You know, and, and now people like this, this, this fair at Ray, uh, lowercase x Kylo, are attacking Mark Hamill. Now, I, did I, yeah, yeah, also to the point of posting that well, like I said, she, she couldn't wait for all the white men to be out of Star Wars or something like that. I can't remember the whole trait, but you'll see it in this video. Look, romance is not rape. Romance is compassion. It's empathy. It's love. It's, it's seeing your buttons pressed. It's, it's being afraid to be vulnerable to this man, I'm speaking at it from a woman's point of view, who is larger than life, who is full of vitality and charisma and masculine charm, uh, what what George Lucas would, would call uh, a sensual hostility, which was what Han Solo was supposed to possess, which is why Harrison Ford got the role to begin with. Uh, I, d I dug up a, an old uh, newspaper interview about the cast from the first, uh, from from uh, the first Star Wars movies, and from '77, and it was just absolutely eloquent the way Lucas describes Han, Leia, and Luke, uh, and he describes Han ultimately as this uh, sort of masculine, uh, charismatic alpha. When he used the word alpha at the time, but an alpha. With this sensual hostility, he doesn't, he's a cynic. And he doesn't want to care. And how does he get himself involved with 
the rebellion because he 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 suddenly finds himself in a friendship with with Luke Skywalker. The kid needs someone to look out for him. He's a naive goofball. Who's gonna look out for him? Huh? Basically, they form a brotherhood, and brotherhood is not complicated for the Raylos out there that might watch it. Go look up what brotherhood means. Okay, uh, they they create a band of brothers uh, with with Leia. He doesn't see, and this is the thing about Han. This is why Leia is so upset by him. He doesn't see her as this untouchable princess. He sees her as this vulnerable girl who needs to be protected. Watch the trash compactor scene. He's trying to get her up above the trash so she doesn't get crushed. He's trying to help her get out of it. That's Han in a nutshell. He sees this beautiful, vulnerable girl who is tough, but not as tough as she thinks she is and needs needs somebody like him around. She needs Luke. Leia doesn't want that. Leia, after everything she's gone through, he's making her feel things that she doesn't want to feel. Hence, the constant friction when you first meet them after, what, three years that they've spent time together and the Empire Strikes Back. This this mating dance is what you're watching. Uh, verbal, uh, verbal, uh, foreplay, okay? What you get with Kyle, and, the, and it's romantic. It's been played out in other movies. Uh, you know, if you've ever seen The African Queen, uh, if, you know, other, you know, uh, movies with Cary Grant and uh, John Wayne and uh, The Quiet Man with Maureen O'Hara, uh, John Wayne and McClintock, which is a great movie, uh, that He's pushing my buttons. I care about him. I don't want to care about him. Uh, this is why I need to act hostile to him and keep him at bay. Because if I get closer to him, he'll capture my heart and then I'll be lost. And you won't be lost if you fall in love with this guy. Because he loves you as much as you love him. And he doesn't want to be captured anyway, but he can't help himself. Okay? He's there. And he's not there for your damn rebellion. He's there to watch out for you. Okay, Han commits to the rebellion because of Leia, because of what she did for him in, in, in Return of the Jedi, coming to get him out, her and Luke both. Again, family, friendship, romantic love. Han and Leia, friendship, brotherhood, Han and Luke, family. Okay, well, you Raylos mistake for, this is what you Raylos mistake for romance. Rape. Abuse. Uh, you <clears throat> have no empathy for the people that Kyle Ron has abused and hurt. His parents, his uncle, the village that he ordered, which is an act of genocide and a war crime, that he ordered to be massacred. Uh, his, his parents' friends, uh, Lor Santeca. Um, you uh, mistake. You don't have any empathy for them. And in, a, in TFA, you were supposed to. He's not a sympathetic character in TFA at all. Where he got this, where you got this again, I blame the culture that created uh, Twilight. The woman who wrote that should be slapped. I blame uh, the dumbass who wrote uh, Fifty Shades of Mommy Porn. Uh, you know, basically the guy should have probably been thrown in jail for, for domestic violence. You know, uh, what you see in the torture scene in TFA with Ray is nothing but, as J.J. Abrams himself described it, violent rape, violent mind rape. Uh, you know, you've gone off the deep end with your uh, hate of Finn, uh, going as far as I've, I've shown this, calling him all kinds of profoundly racist names, going off on some sort of white superiority thing. Uh, you know, you, you, you take a book, a, a, shitty, a shittily written book, like Bloodlines and the stake in everything that Claudia Gray wrote. Uh, you have actually absolutely have no empathy and no, no sense of the first six movies, okay? And you came in here and squatted in a place you don't belong, okay? You don't know what romance is. There's no romance. There's nothing romantic between Kyle Ron and Ray. Uh, he lies to her. He physically abuse, abuses her. He abuses her emotionally. 
he tricks her, he, uh, you know, basically is trying to, uh, not that what he's doing to her when he says she's a nobody is not necessarily, it's not seductive. It's not being honest. And don't sit there and tell me, he's the only one who cares about her. No, he's not. I mean, I've had friends who've been abused by guys who've done the same thing. I'm the only one who cares about you while they're gaslighting her. All right. That's exactly what he is doing. That's not seduction. That's <clears throat> trying to usurp her own power. You basically abuse her and take away her own self-worth, her own sense of uh, self and her own ability to see the world clearly because he wants to abuse her more. Okay. If she's a powerful Jedi, then he wants to use that power for, for his own ends, not because he cares about her. See, that's what a guy, that's what a sociopath does. And Kyle Ron is, I think part of the, part of the time I look at him, I think he's a psychopath. Other times I think, uh, he's a sociopath, but he's not, uh, a, a sympathetic character. So telling somebody like me who knows what I'm watching, that he's a sympathetic character and that he cares about her is bullshit. It's a fucking bullshit. Okay. And I'll tell, I'll tell you what else it says. It says you're all a bunch of mentally deranged, uh, mentally ill, uh, sick, uh, disturbed, dried up, uh, probably untouched virginal cat ladies. And, and, you know, uh, girls, who have absolutely no effing idea what romance is all about. See, here's the deal. You have to understand it, and you don't. You, you, you know, you say you've been to college, <coughs> and I don't believe you. Any college student will tell you that the stuff that you've read, the stuff that they made you read isn't, you know, any, any college student that went to school in the last 30 years will, will tell you everything you think about what romance is supposed to be is wrong. And I'm going to end, end it with this. When you look at Han and Leia, I'm going to use them as, as an example because they're the best. Han is akin to uh, Sir, Sir Lancelot. He is uh, uh, to her Guinevere, to her Elaine. He fights to get to her side. He fights at her side. He fights in the sur service of her surrogate father, the Rebellion. Okay. That is Han Solo. That is romantic. That is a romantic ideal for a man. Leia, as as much as she is a Guinevere <coughs> and Elaine, as that, that, that princess, she is also every bit, I would say, the ranger's life. She takes charge. She's every bit uh, Bodica, the, the, the uh, uh, English... Uh, tribal chieftain who led uh, a rebellion against the Romans uh, occupying uh, uh, England at the, at the British Isles at the, at, at the time of, uh, I think, Emperor Claudius, I think. Uh, she ended up, we don't know what happened to her. Uh, she is every bit the Viking shield maiden who went to, to, to war at the side of her, her husband, maybe even pregnant at the time. That's Leia. She absolutely has nothing in common with any of you. She doesn't have anything common in the uh, woke, dried up hag that Claudia Gray made her out to be. That uh, Kathleen, Kathleen Kennedy has envisioned her. That the Star Wars story group has intended her to be. Uh, this, the Leia that I described is a Leia that George Lucas envisioned. Okay? And your kind of heroine is not empowered. She's a pussy. My kind of heroine, Leia, as George Lucas envisioned her, my Mothma, Padme, are far more empowered than Rey is in your in, in the Rey that you think she is. She's more empowered than Rose is. All right, she's more empowered than the Leia in these these shitty sequels. Okay, because she literally can do it all, and. When I see your rape porn, your sympathy for this sick, demented, sociopath fuck, uh, played by an actor who hated every moment 
of his character in The Force Awakens, uh, it, 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 it's sickening to me. And you abusing Mark Hamill, who is the heart and soul of Star Wars, violates my sense of decency. And I want to ask you fair, were you born in a barn? Who raised you? Or are you just an angry, insecure, tubby little Latina, uh, whitey-hating slag who, you know, was was indoctrinated to 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 uh, be part of the uh, uh, div divisive SJW culture, who actually believes that races count. There is no such thing as race. Everything's a human race. So stop being a racist, fair. And do you, Raylos? Star Wars doesn't belong to you. And the reason why I know it is the moment episode nine is credits roll, you'll be gone. Okay? This is Steph signing out. I'll see you around the galaxy. I'll see you around the cantina. Please remember to tip your Wookiee bartender 20%. And remember, don't start any fights in the cantina. Because if you do, I've got to pay for the mess. And uh, don't, no gunfights. Take them outside. No bounty hunters and no drives. I'll see you around. Scott. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video on disrespectful little shits. Uh, this is Steph, and I hope you uh, have a good day. Thanks for stopping by, by the way. Please remember, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Hit the bell for more content when you know, so you know when I upload. And uh, remember to hit smash that like button. And thanks for, again, thanks for stopping by. I've said that 50 times, but I don't care. And also share away here. We share away here for love of Star Wars. Uh, the next video is going to be kind of more, uh, a little bit personal. Uh, just because I think I need to do it. So, uh, get ready. This is Steph signing out. See you around the alley.